guys, we are in the new 2022 GR86. Having a lot of fun today out at Monticello Raceway in New York. Wanted to give you guys some track driving impressions on this new GR86. We're in a top trim premium with the 18 inch wheels and the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires. Let's talk about this new GR86. Is it fun to drive? Is it faster? Is it more capable? Well, yes, it is. All those things. This is a much stiffer, tighter, and more high performance car. There's a lot more capability here with this new GR86 than from the previous generation. The power is probably the first thing you notice, but also once you get to drive it a little bit more, you notice the suspension tuning is really well done. The two different cars, old and new, even on the same tires, this new car has so much more grip and so much more stability around the corners. This is a really different driving experience from the old GR86. It's still an evolution. There's nothing revolutionary here. This still follows the same philosophy as the old car. It's just notably better in braking, in cornering. It's a lot flatter around the corners. Turn in is sharper. quality feels pretty good too. This is a pretty long track out here at Monticello and this GR86 does not feel stressed. It doesn't feel slow. You can really stretch its legs out here and have some fun. things though I don't like about this car. The first was shift beeps. I could probably turn them off if I wanted to, but one thing you can't turn off is the artificial engine sound being piped into the cabin. It does have its own dedicated speaker so you can disconnect that if you want to, but it's not an option in this Toyota GR86 yet to be able to do that in the infotainment or with a button. fun car to drive though. It's held up beautifully on track all day long. We've just had a riot in this thing. It hasn't lost that visceral old school charm. This new car is just more refined, better buttoned down, a little bit higher performance. It has a lot more capability on the track. I think you could probably hang with some of the big boys in this thing. Whereas with the old car, Eh, you might be a little bit slower than a lot of the other vehicles out there. All right, let's take out an automatic onto the full course and see how it does. We've got traction stability completely off. Lane keep assist off. Collision mitigation is off. Definitely a lot quicker off the line. The old automatics used to be super sluggish from a start. the great chassis, the great grip in this automatic, that doesn't go away. Just such a sharper car around the corners. This is not the best transmission for, uh, for track work, that's for sure. Doesn't want to downshift a lot. And in auto mode, it's kind of all over the place. Let's put it in 
into track mode here. There we go. Let's see what that feels like in just standard drive. traction control off. There we go. Back into manual. Yeah, the shift programming here is not very good at all. It's good for daily driving, but that's about it. sideways in track mode. That's fun. Alright guys, well there you go. There's the automatic. A much better performer than the old automatic Toyota 86, but still not the one to get. Go for the manual. You'll you'll enjoy it. If you don't know how to drive manual, this is a perfect car to learn it. It's very forgiving and uh, you can really grow with the manual transmission as a driver. I heard the other day that there's a 70% take rate for automatics in this car and though this is a good automatic, it's such a shame because the manual is just perfection. That's how it was designed to be and how it should be. So I do like this new GR86. I think I prefer the feel of the old car a little bit more. It felt a little bit more engaging, a little bit more raw and I think just enjoyable. It sounded better too. But uh, this new car is a really nice evolution of that. And I think the interior is nicer. It's a nicer place to be. It's maybe a little bit more refined and luxurious and comfortable. And the performance you can't argue with, it makes for a really fun driving experience. I think ideally my perfect GR86 is a base manual with those Michelin Primacy tires. Those are great tires for just having a hoon, having a lot of fun. You know me, I had my BRZ for six years and they were still on the original Michelin Primacies after tons of drifting track days, daily driving. Um, it's a great tire that wear, it takes forever to wear down and you can really toss the car around on it. With these Michelin Pilot Sport 4s, there's a little bit more understeer, there's a lot more grip, and to get it to play around and, and move about on track, you have to work a lot harder and you have to go a lot faster. And some people, some people will enjoy that if they want to chase lap times, but personally, the base GR86 is my favorite. I think that's the way to go. There's your take on the GR86 Premium, and it looks pretty good on this white too. I think also the Toyota looks a lot better than the Super BRZ. The BRZ used to be the better looking one, and now I think this takes the cake. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.